out here with the cars which I will be taking to the post office or a single car, but here's a cold start. <laughs> All right, got the Lambo out of the way and it's time to head out with the Benz. Basically, I shared with TikTok what I'm having in mind with my car situation. I'm thinking about potentially either trading in or selling the C55 AMG and getting a Bentley Flying Spur or X6M. I've been looking at both cars. I'm leaning more towards the X6M right now, probably because I've been looking at parts for it and I'm a little more excited about it, but I will be looking into Bentley Flying Spur parts too, but neither, will, neither build will be ridiculous. I think the X6M might have a uh, bigger build than the Bentley, which I'll probably keep stock for the most part. But in terms of XXM, I was thinking about getting Haman wheels, potentially BBS, but if I had a choice, I'd get Haman wheels, and I'd get um, Haman carbon hood. But if I can't afford the Haman car carbon hood, I'll just get a regular carbon hood made by some other company. I would do a Vivid Racing or a Gintani Tune with the Dynan or Dinan, however you want to pronounce it, air intake. So the tune and the intake combined would push around 700 horses, a little over, I think if I'm doing the Gintani tune. But yeah, so that would be the mechanical build. And I'll have carbon pieces for the outside too, mainly being the roof spoiler. But you know, the front lip would probably be carbon, the side skirts would also be carbon. Yeah, I think that covers everything that I would probably do if I got an X6M. And I will do a muffler delete probably. I would probably not do anything crazy with the pipes because I don't want it obnoxiously loud. But I would probably at least do a muffler delete and, you know, run a straight pipe from there to replace it and then do a quad exhaust, uh, which I believe the car already comes with. But, you know, it, it wouldn't be stock tips probably something a little larger but yeah that's what i have in mind what do you guys think uh, in terms of the build um especially in comparison to a bentley continental i'll probably do additional research and once i do additional research i'll probably tell you guys exactly what the bentley build would be like but you know like i said it's probably not going to be anything ridiculous maybe wheels depending what it comes with already maybe you know window tints which would also be done on the bmw as well but yeah nothing nothing too crazy probably anyways finally back and uh yeah so essentially if you guys haven't realized and i don't think i said this on the youtube clip but i did mention it in the tiktok video the, the build I have in mind with the X6M would actually be pretty much exactly what the Lamborghini is. The car would be black, ideally. It would have a carbon hood, which I still need to get for the Lambo. It would have a carbon spoiler. And, you know, I think, and then it would have a carbon gas lid. So, essentially, the build would be very similar. And the X6M, basically, ideally, would look like the BMW SUV version of the Lamborghini and if I ever got a Urus you know it would be it would basically be the BMW version of like what the Urus build would be if it matched my Gallardo so basically that's where everything kind of ties in I think it would look really cool a man actually did a build very similar to what I have in mind with their own carbon hood and the wheels so I think it would align really well. I'll probably post a picture of it while I'm talking. Obviously the Lamborghini has uh, the black wheels and it has Haman centerpieces. Not that it's actually Haman. It's Savini wheels, if I recall correctly. Um, so yeah, but you know, the Lamborghini wheels might actually get changed eventually to actual like authentic Haman wheels. And at that point, it probably would match very closely if it's not identical to the wheels on the BMW. Um, you know, but I mean, we'll see. Obviously, if I get black man wheels for the BMW, we're looking at designs that are very similar to what Lamborghini currently has, since they both have, since they both have a lot of spokes. So that's what I'm kind of going for. I feel like it looks cool uh, when these cars have a lot of spokes on their wheels. So we'll see. Uh, 
how it pans out, but I, it would be nice to hear everybody else's thoughts because these builds would be taking place on YouTube and TikTok and Facebook as well. Currently in the car, pretty much have a couple updates with for you guys. One thing I want to mention is if any of these videos pretty much from the vlog where I returned back to California to my car collection, I believe it's called finally back to my car collection or whatever or something along those lines I'll probably link the video in the description if that video or any video after that gets 500 likes I'll be doing a new exhaust setup on the car the options pretty much as I explained on TikTok is either doing an F1 type exhaust where it's very high pitched or just doing a muffler delete and my understanding and research of that is that it will pretty much be a stronger way louder version of what it is stock but it will not be high pitched and the other option is just changing the exhaust setup altogether and it would be a high pitched sound like you guys see on YouTube with everybody else's cars. My thing is I probably prefer just doing the muffler deletes because the car will be way louder, stronger notes and it won't be high pitched so it's very different than what you guys see. Probably different than what you guys would see on Gallardo's especially considering people that had Gallardo's on YouTube obviously probably kept them stock all you needed back in the day was probably to have a Gallardo and that'd be enough to get you famous on YouTube or social media or whatever but obviously in this day and age you need a lot more than that so that's where I'm leaning but when I do reach 500 likes on any given video I'll make a video explaining that oh we've already reached 500 likes what should I do and it'll be pretty much up to the viewer on what I do uh, whether it's a high pitch note or just a muffler delete Whichever one I do end up doing, I'll probably do a quad exhaust setup on the Lamborghini. I think it would be really dope to have that. I might even do a rear bumper delete, even though I know people normally do that when they do a twin turbo setup. But I was thinking about, you know, I, I want to build cars that you guys haven't seen, that I haven't seen. So I'd rather do a quad setup, quad exhaust setup, no matter whether it's a high pitch note or just a muffler delete. And basically, with a quad setup, I may or may not do. A rear bumper delete depending on what people think of that but I probably would do it because I think that would be a really badass so that's one thing still waiting on my plates it's been five weeks today since I ordered the plates still have not received them so hopefully I do receive them soon and yeah so I, I am taking into consideration that it might take months to get but when I did order them it did say four to six weeks so hopefully it's more in that four to six uh, four to six week range rather than you know months on end so as you guys would see on youtube shorts as well as tiktok i opened one side of the gate that being that side turned on the lambo came over here to turn on the bends and put the envelopes in the car and when i was doing that i heard a bang but i wasn't sure what it was but i was like something tells me the gate might have hit the lambo 